Hello everyone. So I am hope I'm on the right stream deck. We got an excellent connection. I'm going to hold on here a few seconds to tell me, so you can tell me if you can hear me. I want to make sure I'm being shown on here. I hope I am. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I'm seeing me, so that's good. I'm seeing me on here, and I'm, I'm wondering if you all can hear me. I want to come over here to this channel, my channel, because I, I want to show some pictures of this um, system that is here. Okay, I'm on the right channel. We have six people watching. Hello there, Bang Bang Mucka Bang. Can you hear me? Hello though, Apple Brooks, uh, Susan Donahue. Yeah, you all, can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Because I, I want to, okay, perfect. I want to get over here to the, um, I want to get over here to the FAA webcam is what I want to do before uh, some of these images drop off. Before some of these images drop off. So we're coming straight over here to the Wolf Creek Pass. Um, where it was seen, where was it? Was it this one right here? I don't know if it was this one. Let me see if this is the Southwest camera. This is the one you are. We're going to watch it. Put it right over here so we can see it. I don't got time to play because I don't want this to fall off the um, thing so we can't see it anymore. So let's hope we can get it over here. I hope we can, you all. I want it to be on here. I don't want it to mess up on us. I don't. Okay, this isn't the one that I've seen it on. Uh, I'm, on I'm on the Wolf Creek. What is happening? Okay, this isn't the one. Come on now, don't you be playing games with me, you all. I do not want it to play with me. I think, yeah, this is the one right here, you all. We got to watch it. You all, is this showing you this? I'm not seeing anything. What, what's happening? Can you all see it? Okay, it's not showing up on my cell phone, so you all could see it. I'm going straight back to it, you all. I'm going to go straight back to it. Okay, because I don't know what was happening, but on my cell phone, this thing right here is not even refreshing so I can see it. Well, maybe I need to learn how to push the button. I think I do. You all, we're going to watch this before it falls off. You can see it. it the system is right here. Um... It's right there. Okay, we got it going. I just want to let it play a few times right here so you can see it for yourself. So we've got that one going down. There's something there, okay? There's there's no doubt about it. There's something definitely there. Um, look at that. You can see it. It's as clear as day. Some people may say, ah, oh, that's just a reflection. Well, why are these little holes here? Why do they keep rotating? There's something much greater going on, okay? Something much, much greater is taking place um, with this system. There's something in the sky. There's something in the sky. You can see it. It's nice and big. Yes. Um, okay, yeah, so there's an orb in that. You all, let me, I want to get over here to the other camera, too. There's another camera on here that I've seen. It was called um, Bald Creek, if I can find it. I think this might have had something on it, too, if I can see which one this one was. I don't know for sure if this one had something on it or not. Mm, not really. Mm, I, I wanted to get the Bald Creek Pass, if I can find the Bald Creek. Um, if you are just tuning in, let me put this back to me so you all can see this. Um, because... Um, yeah, there, there's another one I wanted to show on here. You, in the meantime, so you can... This one's out. Um, let me check the southwest. Okay, yeah, we can do the southwest um, because one of these had a ship under it. And I'm not sure if this showed... Um, I'm not sure if this showed it on here or not. And if it didn't, it showed something else that I wanted to, um... Wait, 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 right, right there, right there. Let me see this. So, um, right there. That's a ship. That is a ship. That's what I wanted to show you. And this is located on the Saguache, uh, Saguache Municipal Airport. Right there, you all. That is a ship. See it? Right there. 
That's not a that's not a normal airplane. It's not. It has the telltale signs. To me, this looks like a ship. Right there, if you can see it, and make it bigger. Um, I know making it bigger kind of distorts the image, but that's okay. You while we can see it. Boom! There you go. Right there, we got a ship in the sky. I think this is one of their ships. I really do. It's one of their ships right here. One of their ships. So um, we're going to look at that. You, I've got to hurry up and get through there because they're going to drop the last frame off of here. And um, look how big that sun is. Okay, uh, there was another. There was another one on here. You all, where it clearly. Let me tell you what it clearly did. It clearly showed a big massive disc, a disc, a silver-like disc behind it. Let me see if I can open up my laptop. I want to find the correct um, the correct space. Oh, I got some pretty yellow trees on my laptop. Well, you all watch that right there. Let me, let me do this, you all. I wasn't planning on opening up my laptop, but I did. I wanted to get the disc, and it's on the Bald Mountain. Bald Mountain. I've got to find Bald. Right there, we got it. We have got it. We're going straight to the Bald Mountain. Um, I don't know which one it is, but I'm gonna, we're going to find out right now which one it was. Was it this one? We've got to look at the West Loop. We, um, I put you on there, right there. Um, yes, right here. So let's watch this Bald Mountain. I think it's this one, you all. I just want to get on here before they, um, before they knock some of this stuff off. Okay, you can see it right there. You can see the, the planetary like system. See this disc right here? This is this looks like a silver disc or something behind it. A massive silver like disc. And you see the uh, outline of this red like massive object on the backside. You all let's let slow it down. I've got to slow it down for you um, because I do want to look at it. I want to look at it. We can play it slow down. Uh, so you can see it. And I, I do apologize, but you can still see it in here. Okay, right there. You see it? Right there. That is up there behind this sun. Can you see that? And did you see that ship on there too? As it's going down, Gina, get your cursor out of the way. Look how massive this is. And look over here onto the side. Whatever it is, it is massive. Uh, that is right behind the sun like a disc shape and I'm gonna pause it as it gets closer I'm gonna I'm waiting for it I'm gonna wait for it because we can see this part right here can you see the object this like planetary like object right here I know you can you can see it so we can see that I just want to advance to the next frame okay you can still see it just let's let's get to it it's still there this you can right here right here you see this this is solid. Whatever this is, this right here is big time solid. I want to make sure you all can hear me because I don't want my um, I don't want my volume turned down so low where you can't hear me. Especially if I walk, if walk, if I talk slow, you all. We got to look at this. Um, see it coming out more, right there, right there. That is a massive disc-like object. Um, Helen Keller, honey, 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 it's not, it's not a, Helen, honey, it's not an insect. Okay, so y'all look at this right here. Look at this. So we're going to watch it because this caught my eye. I thought, well, I've never seen this with a rim on it before by the sun. And so here we can see the object right here. We can see the object, but this is a massive disc. It looked like a big flat disc right there is what it looks like, a big flat disc disc and I, I and I've heard some people say that you're, there is a lens system up there to try to block this system so you can still see it you can still see it right here right there it's there behind this sun so and listen let's let's talk about this so that would make sense that the sun is so big and super super bright and so big and round if it's got a reflection a great big disc behind it reflecting the light and making it so massive as it goes down because this right here is the diameter let's talk about this too so you know that little halo thing you get in the side on both sides of the sun 
when you're up there and looking at the sun, you're not up there in the sky, but you're looking at the sun, you're noticing the two rainbow spots on the edges, uh, perfectly centered right next to the sun on both sides. I think it's this thing right here, you all, because it is the, it's got a rim to it. <coughs> There's my throat itching again, you all. I don't like that. It's meant to distract me. Oh my gosh, you all, this is terrible. I gotta have water with me. Mm. I think this right here part is causing the reflection on both sides. Oh, I'm supposed to be flipping through these. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's all right. You can see it because it gets super massive right here. Look at this UFO right here. Look at this ship. This ship is literally, let me, sh right there. Looks like it's right there. And here's the rim. And then look, here's this big planetary like object right there. Can you see that ship? I'm not doing nothing to the photos because I think they should be shown in their, um, their original form. Okay, that that way, um, you know, see, this is really massive. And then also we got something down here. These two things look the same, the same size, this right here and that one right there. They do, they look the same size, but let's keep going through this because I don't want the, the webcam to drop the thing off the window. I don't. You see how bright it's getting now? It, it's so bright it blinds a person it, that's how bright it is and you can still you can see over here it's starting to do the outline of um, of the object I've put it on slow so we can watch it I want to let's do it a little bit slower so you all can see it This doesn't really want to do it slow. It won't let me do it slow, but that's okay. You can still look at it. Watch it. As it comes down, you see there's a massive solid disc. Get that cursor out of the way up there. And I think it makes it super bright also. It's reflecting it. But then over here on the side, you got this great big red showing up also. There was another... There was another... Um, there was another one of these in the sky that um, caught my attention too. I, I forget which which one it was. I forget which one it was, but there was clearly a ship that was underneath there. So let me put this back to me. So we we've documented that. We've documented that you all that it's like um it's going down. I'm trying to see what other one I went to that showed this sun in the sky um, I don't know if it's this one but we're gonna play it anyhow we're gonna play this anyhow because there was a cloud I'm looking for a cloud ship that was right down here and I don't know which area it could have been this area but I'm not for certain I don't think it was this one but you can see that they've got things all around the Sun when it goes down see that's the perfect shape that's the perfect shape look yeah, that's the perfect shape. Let's check out the other ones really fast because we don't have much time before they end these. They end these um, things right here. Um, yeah, and I'm I'm. This is not my area, really. This really is not my area of focus. It's not. But um, if I see something, I'm gonna share it. I really am. I don't know what's happening here. I can't get this to pull up. Why not? Why can't I? Okay, I can I can do it. We can do it, you all. We're going to do it. Let's try to get this uh, northwest. Doesn't look like it's in the northwest. It's right here southwest. We're going to see if it's see if this was the one. It may not have been. So I already looked at that. Well, let's look at it again. That's the ship right there that shows up. There's an uh, airplane flying by, but then you can see that something green back there also. So this isn't really the one that I wanted to look at. And I may not get to see the other one that I'm thinking of. I may not. And that's okay. I don't have to. I really don't have to. But I wanted to show it anyhow. I really did.
Did we just look at this again? Because I can't keep my windows straight, you all. I really can't. You, you can see the outline of the disc below it, too. Look, see, it's perfectly round. And it would, it would make sense to have a great big massive something behind it to make it look that bright. Have you noticed they have been? They have been making these look brighter and brighter and brighter is what they've been doing. They're making them look so bright lately exceedingly bright um, I wish I could um, I, w I want to see if I can find it I really do you all but I'm not gonna be able to see it right now in the meantime you can see it going over here by the side of my head up here I wanted to put that on a, a continuous loop I did just so we could um, see it um, Hey, we can look at this one too. This is Lake County right here. I don't know what this one looks like because I didn't look at it. But we can look at it. Lake Lead Leadville. Let's, oh yeah, you can see it in this one too coming down. You know why do they got all the cameras in Colorado? See, that's what you have to ask yourself too. Why do you got all those cam cameras uh, located in Colorado? Is it because you can keep a really? I just saw something in the sky just then. You all, I really did. I saw something up there in the sky as this thing was coming down. This um, sun-like object. Let me stop it. Um, so you can see it right here. Can you see it? So really, they, they really are covering up the sky because something's in the sky. They are. They don't want us to see it. Regardless of what it is, they do not want us to see it. But it's it's too bad. See, this is it's really it's not moving. It's staying right there. It's not going anywhere. But I wanted to make sure this comes down. Look how bright it got. Uh, and when it when it gets brighter, I wanted to um, see if I can see. Look, it's a super bright, perfect circle. It's uh, perfect. Let me see what I saw. Um, it wasn't that. Hey, you can see. You can see the red right there. Perfect. You see that red right there? Right behind it? Can you see it? I know you can see it. Um, try to make it big so you can see it. Gina, honey, your imagination fascinates me. Well, Eddie, honey, I'm glad that you are fascinated by my um, imagination I got your attention so that's all that matters it really is so uh, you don't have to agree so, so you see that right back there yeah so let's look at this you all so I wanted to get to um, right here why is that crevice right there in the sky right there that's that's what that's what got my attention whatever it may be it doesn't look like it fits there it really doesn't I wouldn't want the sky to be one great big hologram. I really wouldn't. Uh, and that, yeah, that would be really um, wild if the sky was a hologram. It'd be really wild looking. Okay, we don't got any in Pittman. Uh, none there. None there. So you can just, um, if you don't get over to here in time, there are things that are going to fall off wonder what this one did. This is a south facing camera. Uh, they don't got really too much. But we can look at this one too, you all. Just to look at it. To see what we can see. It's, uh, it's nice to look at it at uh, different angles. It is. And it's okay. It really is. And um, I think it's quite interesting. We could be watching negative news, but we're not. Um, we're not watching any of that. Which is quite um, relaxing. This is pretty colors right there. You have to admit there are pretty colors on here. Um, let me put this back right here. Um, I need to start looking deeper into the clouds. Kansas gal, I, I what I do is I share and I focus on whatever I'm led to within my spirit. Okay, not what someone else tells me to do. Because then I won't be free. Then I'll be doing what someone else wants me to do instead of listening to the spirit within me so that's how I'm guided and that's how I share and I am very very spontaneous um, I never know when I'm going to come on here and I really never know what I'm going to share I just play it by ear I just let take it 
one moment to the next, one hour to the next hour. Okay, I live in the moment is what I do. Um, so yeah, that, so this is really interesting, you all. Oh, so wait, wait, uh, there was something else I wanted to show you. Since you're all looking at this, um, since you're looking at this behind me, right here, you're looking at this moving up here behind me. Oh, you lo come on now, a top comment, you love your whack job. Well, I, I'm so happy that I can entertain you. I really am. You all, this is what I was focusing on nine years ago, right here. You may say, Gina, no, you weren't. Yes, yes, I was. I was focusing on this nine years ago. I'm going to show you um, my post nine years ago on my Facebook. So look at this. What if the earth is entering the debris field around Nibiru as it approaches with its 3,660 year flyby of earth? Remember, we have built underground cities and shelters all around the world. They were built for something. See, this is my, this is my mindset nine years ago is uh, what it was. So look at this. So here's my two comments. I haven't clicked into them, but that's I'm going to try to click into them right now. I really am. Look at this. Um, let's see where this one goes, you all. If you all do I got this on here? Oh, you're so very welcome. A light warrior rising. You are. Um, so let's get this right here. You all come on. We can do this. Um, I don't I don't know where this went. I tried to open this in a new field. They can't find it. They can't find it anymore. Well, that's really interesting because. Um, Liberty for life. NASA discovers, so that couldn't be found. Let's see if this one can be found, you all. Let's see if that one can be found. Personal family preparedness. Okay, so let, what was this? NASA headquarters emergency operations personal family preparedness plan. What are we supposed to be preparing for? Okay. Um, I don't know how old that would have been. I don't know if it's updated. Why well, I don't know why I shared it, but I guess I had a reason to share it. Hmm. Oh, uh, this was last updated. Oh, well, they ain't going to have the information from nine years ago. They're not going to have the information from nine years ago, but that was my mindset nine years ago uh, to this day right here. This Nibiru which is really interesting. It really is, you all. Yes. Um, yeah, thank you all for um, coming on here. Let me, let me click out all of these other ones. Let me click them out. You know, you can also, you can go to these FFA, FAA live webcams right here, the FAA aviation weather cameras, and you can click into here and you can see, you can see their images uh, quite well, you really can. Of course, in this area, you got a lot of snow. You got a whole lot of snow going on, a ton of it. But you have to ask yourself why they got all these cameras right around in this area right here. Well, really, that's where NORAD's located, also right in Colorado, uh, is where it is. Right in Colorado, um, Amira Soto. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. It really is. Um, ooh. This looks really pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? You all, let's look at this. Um, I want to look at that those colors right there really fast because it had some nice looking. Um, yes. Oh, we'll see. So I let me let me let me let me help you out. Okay, so you don't come on my channel. Let me tell you what you don't do. You don't come on my channel and badmouth me and badmouth people on here okay you don't do it because you know why you get blocked your comment gets deleted you get blocked okay and then that's what happens I don't put up with it this I don't get on here to play games I get on here to share what I am led to share okay this ain't no game and it's not a playground for you to come on here and act like that you know what they do when you misbehave on playgrounds you get to go in time out and in some cases you get grounded from recessing you don't get to go back out and play with the other children Okay, so yeah, that's what happens. No, you don't come here and um, 
behave like that. You don't because I don't have no tolerance for it at times. My tolerance is about like that when I'm, when I'm in a serious, serious mood, okay? So no, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna let you do that, okay? You're not going to belittle us. You're not going to talk down to us, okay? You're not gonna bring us down to your level. It's not happening. It's not happening, okay? It's not. And um, I apologize you all had to see stuff like that. I do, but you know how people are. That's right. Not, no, I'm not going to have it. I'm not. That's right. I don't. Um, I'm a very flexible person. I'm a very um, laid-back person. I really am easygoing, extremely easygoing, but not in that. No, I'm not. No. Yeah. Yes, Susan, honey, we got to be kind and we got to be respectful. Um, we got to pour out the love. Okay, we got to pour out the love, and we can do it. We can. Yes, that's exactly right, you all. So this, this is here, and that was my mindset looking at this nine years ago today right here on this Facebook. Uh, and I don't even know why I even was thinking about that back then. I don't, but I did. I did. I thought about it back then just like that and um, NASA discovers Nibiru NASA discovers Nibiru let's write that in NASA discovers Nibiru ah look at that that was a um, that was something it really was. Look at that. So let's see what happens right here, you all. No, I don't want to look in that. Um, okay, so this was in 2014, so we can see this. NASA discovered Nibiru in 1983. An outer planet was first hypothesized in 1841 when astronomers noticed Uranus did not move as predicted in its orbit. Based on these residuals, the search for Planet X began. And on December the 30th, 1983, NASA's chief scientist of the Infrared Astronomical Satellite Telescope, Iris, announced that NASA had discovered Planet X. These findings were reported in six daily newspapers shown below. However, in 1984, they retracted the discovery and has flat out denied Nibiru's existence since then. In 1984, the first chemtrail tests were carried out. Whoa, you all. Can you say whoa? <laughs> I love it. I love it, you all. I absolutely love it. Mm, take that. Take that. Yes, ma'am. Take that. <laughs> wow, that's cool. You all, that is so cool. So let's look at this, you all, because we can look at this. I want to look at this. Um, yeah, so, oh, we can get it. Oh, honey, 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 let me, let me help you out. I want to do it. Mm, I can do it. I did it. You all, I did it. Look at this. So, look at this. So, the 10th planet, called X, reflecting the Roman numeral for the number 10, moved in a 3600 orbit, elliptical orbit around the sun. Planet X is four times to five times size of Earth and 100 times as dense. So look at that, you all. The mass of planet X is like Earth's moon. What causes the mass of tide fluctuations as it nears the Earth, whipping around the sun? It has an oblong-like orbit. Um, so look at that, you all. Um, the, it will cause the Earth's magnetic pull, poles to shift, and it will cause so huge solar flares as it nears the sun. Solar flares take out satellites, and their intensity can burn up much of the vegetation, causing devastating effects. Yes. Hello there, Adele. Um, yes. So yeah, that that is wonderful. So yeah, yeah, look at this. So this is pretty neat. Um, look, the last time uh was a uh, near Noah's flood. So this is really interesting that um I had that show up on my Facebook nine years ago. It really is interesting. I like it. I love it. I really do love it. We can look at this since um uh, this object, they state the object Eris spotted was extremely cold, no more than uh, absolute zero. Nibiru is supposed to be a brown dwarf 
definitely not a code object and um, I it was spotted it did not move in the six months between the images and Nibiru is moving is a moving object so look at that they detected much movement over a six month period so look at this why did they keep this knowledge secret so that they could pay, prepare while everyone else perishes we must ask this um, so this is what they wrote back then is Homeland Security designed to force people to stay home and die um, so let's see this you are this is from uh, 2014 um, the gravitational pull of this 10th planet on its way to us right now uh, is beginning to show its effect on our entire system the elite own six media companies that control the mass media and they implemented a blackout on the subject um, in 2000 Russian scientists held meetings to discuss the inbound planet discovered from one of their largest observatories Let, let's put this right here you all come on now we can do it we're gonna look at this you all this is okay Susan honey and bang bang are you all the only ones on here because um, I'm looking here too I'm gonna help you out I will so look at this uh, this satellite chief scientist announced the discovery on December the 30th of 1983 and it was in it was published in these papers astronomy the secret for the 10th planet 1981 um, New York Times June the 19th 1982 um, so we got that Newsweek does the Sun have a dark companion June the 28th of 1982 um, New York Times January the 30th 1983 Lisa, let's look this is really neat um, US World News Report is it really out there September the 10th 1984 um, so yeah, you all. So let, 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 let's look at this, you all. Let's see if we can pull up one of these. Um, let's see if it'll show up. Now they do erase links. They do. Ah, uh, look at this. We had this right here. Boom! It, it made it into Zeta Talk. It also made it right here. Look, NASA's um, U.S. News World Report. Is it really out there? Shrouded from the sunlight's mystery. So yeah, that's, um, yes, we got some good moderators out here, you all, we do. So we can find that one in here, you all, that we can find it. Um, let's find another one of these. Uh, or we got to have a title, though. Newsweek, uh, Does the Sun Have a Dark Companion? Let's, let's check it out, see if it's on here, you all. We can do this. I don't want to take up too much of your all's time tonight. I don't. But I want to see if these, um, boom. Oh, a star named Hades? Isn't that interesting? A star, young stars have dark spots on their surfaces, which are analogous, analogous to sunspots, but cover a much larger fraction of the surface area. Um, on June the 28th of 1982, Newsweek magazine, you are. Uh, come on. Ah ha ha, there it is, you all. So there it is, a Newsweek magazine. They're talking about who is Hades and all of this kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, well, thank you, Paula Frost. I think you're all pretty awesome, too. I really do. I think you're all awesome, awesome too. So let's see this, you all. Um, I just want to see if we can see any more of these. Do I got this on here? I do. Astronomy, uh, the search for the 10th planet, 1981. Let's look at this. I want to see if we can pull this out. I just wanted to just do a couple of these links. Um, yeah. Right here. Planet X, Nibiru, old articles. Okay, look at that. So they, they did write the articles. Okay, they did. And um, then it went hush, hush. Y'all, let me, let me do this for you. Let me put the original link, this original link right here. I'm going to put this in this live stream so you all can check back on it too is what I want to do. We're going to come over here and we're going to put this right here in the live stream. Right here, the link, so you can check out those newspapers yourself. Uh, you can, you can do it. Y'all hit that like button. 
Oh, uh, a- a- Angelique. Uh, yeah, I'm not listening to him. I'm I'm not. That's right. I am not. That's right. Boom. We got this. Yes, Angelique. Well, some people try to hit the like button and it won't take their likes. Did you all see that link right there? Um, yeah, because we got that in there. I think that's what we was looking off of. That right there. Oh, you're so welcome. Let me let me see if that's where I was supposed to be. Yeah, because that's what I clicked into this uh, area right here. Let's see. I don't want to see this right here. I don't really care about the Super Bowl. Is the Super Bowl going on? Um, that's what I'm wondering. Is it going on? Because I'm. I didn't know. I really didn't know. I want to see. Um, look at this. One of the interesting tidbits of information. Um, this person was given called the triple doctorate. I never heard of that. It had to do with the timing of the arrival. It's slowing down and speeding up with no apparent reason. Well, if it would slow down and speed up, wouldn't it be like a ship or something like that? Um, haphaz- haphazardly? Um, slowing down haphazardly? Um, so their date is when it enters the outskirts of the sun's magnetic field or the heliosphere it breaks into a comet um, and once it's in the solar field it will start traveling in an entirely different manner and it will develop a cometary tail okay they say it's got a tail that causes it to speed up and slow down like a serpent in the grass oh wow what an analogy yes the heads of a snake in the grass surging forward and pausing as the rest of the body of the tail catches up surging forward again and is a good analogy okay so that makes sense doesn't it you all that is how a snake moves because you gotta wait for the rest of it look astronomy the search for the tenth planet uh, searching for a tenth planet New York Times Newsweek all of these these were the articles oh so that's good this was the articles that they had wrote this is the front page story mystery heavenly body discovered ah let's see if we can pull that up you all mystery heavenly body destroyed uh, not destroyed um found discovered Mm-mm-mm-mm. look at that right there there's that one look at this you all oh possibly as large as jupiter hmm so that's really interesting it is it's all interesting every single bit of it um so that's great it really is it's uh wonderful it's wonderful to see it so let's come back to here um I, I don't, oh, they talked about a Haley, Haley Bach, Haley, Haley Bop. Ricochet quakes have now emerged. Ricocheted, ricochet quakes. Hubble in imaging. Okay, let's see this. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, we got all that going on, you want to put that link there. If you saw it, we put the link there so you can look at it and um it's all interesting um come on now you all let's yeah yeah okay so yeah there's a lot of distractions there in the live stream in that um, comment field you all pay no attention to it um yeah it's just a lot of distractions and that's okay we're going to get the message out i did got the message out you all you got it out too um so you look at this page it looks like a dent NASA is watching, this is really interesting, helplessly as a major weirdness develops in the Earth's magnetic fields. They announced last week that a weak spot in the global magnetic field is growing, described as a dent in the magnetic field surrounding the Earth, the South Atlantic anomaly between South America, Southwest Africa, and the Van Allen radiation belt surrounding the planet. So yeah, we got this planet. Look, 20 times further from the sun. 
the first interstellar object. Nibiru update. Hmm. So now they've they changed it to 3607. So all of it's really interesting and I'm going to put this back to me and um, I think that um, I think we shared enough. I really do. There's really not much more to share except um, these webcams right here. There's something definitely up there in the sky. I think we can all agree with that. Um, whether it be an artificial sun, whether it be other objects up there that are causing all these sun flares, people getting caught catching these colorful images in their pictures. There's something up there. There really is. And there's something massive right there. And uh, there's stories, there's history, there's writings about something that comes like a destroyer and like warm wood. The waters were bitter like wormwood. All of that, every single bit of it. Um, yeah. Um, so uh, thank you all for taking the time out of watching this. And uh, thank you moderators on there. I know you've probably been a little bit busy, but that's okay. You got that. You got it. Yeah, thank you all so much. Um, and with that being said, Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello, from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, and thank you so much. And you can you check out that link in there. I think I've already closed out the link, but you can go to these FAA webcam, especially in Colorado. They got lots of good images that they captured. They do. You can see one of them right here at the um, Wolf Creek Pass, and also um, had a massive ship underneath it, too all of it uh thank you susan and king and um bang bang muck bang yes carbon mystic carbon goddess yes and apple brooks if you're on here and um, anyone else thank you yeah so have a wonderful rest of your evening love you <laughs>